Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and players, welcome back to another fantastic stream. My name is Nell, and as always, it's an absolute pleasure to have you all here. So, thank you, Dragon King. I appreciate you still popping by. Two years, it's been a long time coming. I gotta turn this down in my ear a little bit. There we go. Alright, it's been a long time coming for those two years. Uh, I was planning... I was planning on streaming Castlevania tonight. I was gonna be, come home, get Lord of Shadow ready to go. Just, you know, be all set and ready to start working on those stretch goals. And I walk in the door. I check my email. And the Lumi's like, here, enjoy. And I'm like, Lumi! Thank you. I feel like Callie <laughs> when she got a copy of this. Uh... But I see we got a copy need to Ryu, Dragon King, who's only popped in. Uh, Violet, Nanten, Lumi, welcome, welcome. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're going we're gonna to start it on this. Now, I'm going to have to have the chat open on the side here, and I'm going to have to look over occasionally. Uh, because if I am alt-tabbed out at any point, the audio in the game apparently dies. So... Alright, hold on. We're gonna reopen the game because I the intro cutscene was amazing. You're used to being my side piece? Aww. You're still my you're still adorable. There we go. Okay, good. It's picking up. Alright, so we're gonna Pop out chat so I can see it easier. Ah, uh, yes, we're going to use network functions. Here we go. Only thing I spoiled myself on for this was the Thanatos scene. I want to be close to you as the- oh. <laughs> And this is a new intro song! Oh, the- The whited out Yukari. Oh, the Junpei! Oh, wow. And there's there's my Mitsuru. Oh, that scene is beautiful. Oh, Lotus Juice still hasn't lost his touch. Blow up. Oh my godness. My Fuka got such a glow up in this. Oh my god. 
she's she's no longer like the forehead dorky girl. She actually looks really good. I'm going to play normal. I've played Persona 3 a lot, so I could probably do hard and merciless. But I'm just here to chill and have fun. But I don't want to do peaceful because that seems way too easy. And easy just seems really casual for me. So I, I think a normal run is fine. Oh, but that intro, mmm, chef's cat. By the way, Lumi, voice call is open if you want to join. Time. Crony waits for no one. <laughs> All are equal in this flow. All lives born to their ends. You who will protect the glimmer of finite future. You have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you. And never stray from its path. Pen. Just put it to my head and then pull the trigger. Come on. There's no way I can't. That was. That little clip was actually added in FES or in uh, Portable, and not, was not in FES. So I, I love the fact that they did include that here. Huh. That's weird. Oh, it's green with red pools of blood everywhere. I'm sure this is fine. Wait, hold up. I could actually control this part? I don't start at the dorms? I arrived so late. I better hurry up. You were totally dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. Yo, I get to control going to Iwatodai? Oh, that is so cool. I should head to the dorms. Seems like it's supposed to be under construction. Probably best I don't press pass. Well, the buttons are lit up. I guess the elevator's out of order. It looks like the power's out. Hmm, casual blood all over the place. 
Let me keep my distance. Looks a little dangerous. Oh, we got directions to Iwatodai. Good line phone booth is off. I guess the power's out here. Hello, anyone's got directions? Iwatodai strip mall, what up this way? Oh, okay. Turn right at the Seiko Mart. Ah, how old were you? Hold on. Hello, I'm, s I'm sorry. I was too hyped by all this in chat. I, I, I had to be in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> No worries. Give me a sec. I need to adjust the Discord capture. Yeah, I was I was in here earlier, and then my dark signer thing was like covering your face. I'm like, I'm gonna go change that really quick. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you guys up in the corner just in case, because I don't want the uh, text bubbles and stuff to be covered. Oh yeah, that's fine. Fine. You don't you don't want the dialogue to be covered. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna be staying quiet for the most part too. So. Also, thank you again, Lumi. You're welcome. All right, so looks like there's uh, a couple boxes of chocolate here left over from Valentine's Day. You can tell they're from Valentine's Day because there's lots of red all around. Num, 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 num. It tastes like red velvet. I mean, today is the best holiday of the year. It's cheap chocolate day. That's why I picked myself up three whole bags of Hershey's Kisses. It's cheap chocolate day, and the second best holiday is November 1st, which is cheap candy day. Indeed. Also, gives Nell a kiss. Aww. A Hershey kiss. Is it the uh, the swirly one? One that's white and dark? I do have those. Those are my five. It's really hard to find those. At least, At least where I am. There are several objects that look like coffin in the store. So did you like that new opening they did? I'm in, I'm actually enjoying the fact that you actually get to walk around rather than go straight there. For those that are not aware, the original opening to Persona 3, you basically do a cutscene that you just walk straight to the dorm. This time we're walking all the way to the beginning of everything. Also, I like the fact that I can make out the fact that the Takoyaki place is an octopus with a gun. <laughs> gun. Kind of like a frog with a gun. It's a frog with a gun?! It's a yeah, frog been... with a gun. Yeah, I've been catching up on your uh, on the on the DCs. I'm already halfway through episode two. I can't. Uh, Streb says I can't get over how chill the main character is about the situation. I mean, to be fair, from my understanding, uh, as someone who's played this game before, not this version, but I have played this game before, it makes perfect sense. You would totally dorm. I guess this is it. Yeah, for anyone who has actually played, like, the original Lord of Three, assuming that they haven't changed the lore at all, it, 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 will, it, will, all, it will all fall into play. God, that is an amazing title drop. Alright. Where is he? Welcome. God, that's just as creepy as before. I love it. <laughs> and, now, and now in 3D. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Okay. So. So, so, so. I have a name I typically use for uh, the characters from Persona 3. 
Uh, both the the MC and the FEMC. Does anyone object to me using those, or do you want me to put in my my uh, my VTuber name, like my name here now? That is something I'll ask you guys. This is your playthrough, Queen. Go whichever way you choose. Emo Jesus, no. <laughs> I'll put. I'll write my name, the name that I usually put in, and we'll see. That this is the name I typically use. And for the fancy, it's Minako instead of Minato. Oh, you went with Saya instead of uh, Yuki. Nice. Mm -hmm. I have been using uh, Minako Saya, uh, Saya for uh, Femsies on uh, the Persona and Mega Ten games for a long time, with uh, Minato Saya being the the, uh, the male versions. Because well, the names are essentially interchangeable, with Ko basically meaning a female version of the same name. It's kind of funny because in the uh, Persona 3 movie series, um, they actually use Minato as his uh, title. No, it's Makoto. Oh! Then I, all right, I am misremembering crap now. Yeah, the movie well, changed his name to Makoto Yuki. Uh, the Japanese manga, which is where everyone got his original name, uh, was uh, Minato Atsuru. And so the community dubbed the female version Minako. As in the female version. That's and there's right. also Hamuko, basically referring to her as a hamster. I completely forgot about that. That's I was getting it from the manga version. What is... Ay, caramba. I'm getting, I'm getting my lores mixed up. So if there's no objections, we're going to go with Minato Saya. Go for it. Onward! Good. A hamster man I'm sorry to go weird turn. <laughs> you know, fair. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. I am uh slightly disappointed with that transition. Just slightly. In the original uh, he basically is looking at it, like, lengthwise, turns it sideways, and as soon as it turns sideways, it vanishes. I kind of like that a little bit more than it fading into that black. Kid, aren't you a little <laughs> young to be getting this existential? <laughs> and so, it, it began. begins. Oh, look, it's second best girl. How are you here at this hour? Well, you see, the door was unlocked. Don't tell me. Wait. Oh, the power's back. That's good. The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Hello, Queen! Oh, the music! I'm one of the students who live in this dorm. I have to say, her new voice fits beautifully. It really the, does. They, they did a heck of a job choosing the new English cast. Apparently, Elizabeth is still the same, which is fine, because Tara Platt is still amazing. Agreed! Yeah... I mean, she's been doing Elizabeth Who's in he? almost every version she's been in for each uh, game, yeah. so... I can understand her not play, repl reprising the role of Mitsuru. For one, that's a lot of lines. And two, she's a lot older now. Plus, Fade might as well let the new gen cast have exactly. a shot at it. He's a transfer student. 
Where is my boy Sayu? He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys room. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. Honestly, right, no. Well, go ahead. I was just gonna say, honestly, the timing of this was completely unexpected. I didn't know you were going to start on the stretch goals. You know, that's perfectly fine. I am Persona, yes, always happy to play. Uh, it's okay, chat. Nell just wants to burn her bread. This is Yukari talking about. I will make some toast. I'll burn the bread slightly much and then it gets crispy. Yeah, burn that toast. I left it in too long. She'll be a second year. Ladies and gentlemen, Just she is adorable. Ah, you carry to the second year, just like me. Okay. Call me Takeba. Oh. I mean, I, I understand, but oh. I mean, she doesn't want to be friends, she just wants to be associates. Important questions, chat. Why do you have a gun? Huh? I mean, this is Japan. I mean, why not have a gun? This is Japan. Again, Japan. Only, only licensed officers can carry guns. And one of the things, one of the interesting laws in Japan is you can own a gun. Uh, it requires several licenses and and uh, constant checkups from the police and the rifle like the weapon itself and the ammo needs to be stored on opposite sides of the house yeah and that, they're and they're and they are like super super strict on that crap oh yeah that's why it's so funny it's like okay the gun is on one side of the house and the ammo has to be on the other side like you cannot have them on the same wall so basically, if the zombie apocalypse were to happen, much like High School DX, uh, High School of the Dead, Japan would be one of the ones that would probably be the most effed. Man, now you made me sad. Well, uh, it's I'm sorry. Like a I feel bad that manga is gone, and the the other people that were working on it said that they're not going to continue it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's understandable. They got to respect their wishes. Of it course. Just... I don't expect like stuff a... like. like a hobby. I mean, not a hobby, but I like carrying guns. You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. Look, it's not actually a real gun. We got this from a gunsmith over in um, uh, Shibuya. It's not a real gun, of course. Still a gun. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? I remember when the movies came out. No, I, I was broke and couldn't get it. Uh, but um, did any of you see when the movies came out that they made a uh, a silver-plated invoker that you could buy? My friend had it. Ah. Uh, he pre thought, he pre ordered I, all of them for like the individual release like in the deluxe set that and he actually got the invoker. I'm like, you lucky bastard. I was so broke when they came out, I was like, why? Follow me. Yeah, like the invokers were like three hundred dollars. But it was worth it. Like I'm a P3 fan, but I'm not that much of a fan. Oh my gosh, the layout looks exactly the same. I feel like um, I feel like since, do you have any questions? I feel like at the same time, not only did I make now almost explode joy, but I'm dragging Ryu here through nostalgia. Uh Does that kid live here too? Kid. I'll explain in a bit, Lumia. Let's just what let the cutscenes go. About? Come on, that's not yeah. funny. Troy doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. You something on your way here from the station was everything okay let's see power went out 
There was a bunch of chocolate coated coffins all over the place. Oh, the water turned to blood. Yeah, the sky was green. Yeah, seems pretty normal. It's like an average Such day. an edgelord. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Good night. I love that they add that they merged, uh. FES and uh, um, portable for for the conversations because in the originals it just had them talking with the speech bubbles and portable had the uh, the the avatars pop up right because it was more yep. visual novel style yeah I believe so you're correct so I'm I'm loving the fact that they hybrid is hybridized those because they they did that for five. Because yeah. of how popular it was there. I don't remember. Did they do that for Four Golden? Yeah, they did. Okay. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I spent... I should put my things in the closet and get, get to bed early. S several years in the future. A cow is shouting, get to bed. But yes, um, Lumi, for context, Persona 3 is among, like, one of my top ten favorite games of all time. Um, I was... <laughs> yo, a good yo, friend yo, of my... Hold up, hold up. Look at this. This is something that they don't do a lot these days. Do you see that? Yeah, the mirror, the mirror actually reflecting the uh, movements of the character model? Yes! Okay, there was an easy trick that people used to do on the PlayStation 2 to make this happen. And then devs stopped doing it and just not bothered making reflective mirrors. Do you want to know what they did? What did they do? Okay, they took your model, duplicated it, mirrored it, and then just put it on the other side and put, it a, put a tint over the spot where it's supposed to be. And he mirrors your actions in this room. That's so great. That's how they did it for Silent Hill. Specifically Silent Hill 2. Because uh, you remember that cutscene where uh, Harry like is touching his face in the mirror? Yep. That's how they did that. Huh. Well, like I said, Ryu, guiding you through nostalgia, new style. Oh, yeah. How could you... You can watch TV while you're tired. Exactly. Just turn on Jeopardy. Alright. It's a fridge. There's nothing in particular... Wait, I could chill drinks? <gasps> now, we must get all of the Dr. Pepper. No, no. I need an ice cold Nuka Cola. Yes! I need an ice cold Nuka Cola! Come along, you belong, you're here, Nuka Cola! Alright. What have I started? Sleeping in your bed will allow this, you to take time and proceed to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early so I'm ready for the first day of school. I love I, I the soundtrack, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This music, the lyrics are different.
Oh my god! Lotus Juice, you madman! Oh, he slowed down the beat just a half a beat and changed the lyrics. We don't deserve this kind of greatness, but bless you, Lotus! Dance while I put you in a trance. <laughs> Put this album the on Spotify already. The original already. lyrics were just all a series of samples from a hip hop sample CD. They recorded new lyrics for Lotus Juice for a lot of the songs that were just. Oh, I get more Lotus Juice. Squeeing Nell is best Nell. Don't fall over now. Good morning. Again. Sleep okay? Let her I let her do what she wants. She is happy. Yeah. Yes, I slept okay. Oh, so we're gonna go to school together instead of me with Mitsuru, my girlfriend? Are you ready to go? I'm telling Violet. Violet's uh, okay with this because Violet would know would also want to date Mitsuru. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> we all would. Great, let's set out. Well, you know, I always have Violet dressed up as Mitsuru. This is how we'll be I feel like Nell would just die from it's blood moderate. loss at that point. Pretty cool, huh? Show me the ocean view. Show me the ocean view. The ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. So it's like Odaiba. Oh look, there it is now. God, that view is still good. Here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. The Sakura Blossoms. Oh. Yes! Abrupt is like Levi, I guess, for me. You know, if I can have Mitsuru, sure. For you, now, welcome back to Gekko Khan High. One of my top, uh, one of my top ten favorite OSTs in all of Persona. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be listening to the uh, the FMC soundtrack all day tomorrow. You're welcome. Actually, is that one of the DLC options for the music? Uh, not yet. But there is DLC coming out down the road, so it I might heard be that there is. I heard there's going to be additional story DLC, and like everybody else, my first thought was the answer. <laughs> if we don't get that, I swear that everyone's going to riot over this. They said this would be the definitive only version, and they're not making a second like port like Royal. So the answer, the answer is confirmed DLC. Woo! Let's go! All I ask for improvements is that is give me the compendium. That's all I care about. <laughs> it's the only improvement it needs. Oh yeah, don't remind me. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Uh, which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. I had a cursed image pop into my head. The back of Yukari's hair looks like Mitama! <laughs> Bro. Damn. It's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before I go to the faculty office.
Press up to focus on a closer view for the protagonist. Okay. Wait, hold up. Practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. one of my favorites. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. No just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Kaz. You're in class F. I'm in a different F for room. failure! I keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? They added in voice work for those. Amazing. See you. <sighs> oh dear. Okay, please, please tell me it's going to tell me about Harmony. No, okay. Darn. Aw, oh, look, they're dating. Suspicious. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please tell me you two remember this guy. Is it the moon? I mean, it's kind of hard to forget, even if you try to forget about him. Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. He's the one that's got the crush on Miss Kano because she's an older woman. That is his legitimate only reason. And why is this person a confidant again? He is a confidant. That reminds me. How are we going to play this, Chad? Are we going to play this normal? Or are we going to play this douchebag not the road? Oh, wait. I just realized it's no longer confidant. It's technically social. Like, oh, wait. Hold on. Is this going to be like original P3 where there's actually inversions? the negative inversions? I don't know, but that would be fucking hilarious. Because that is the one thing that I genuinely actually miss from that they took out of Persona 5. I'm like, I miss the inversions. Oh, you kind mean of... rever reversing the arcana? Yeah. Yes. The, there was an entire comic about that where somebody went through and inverted every single, per every single social link. All of them. With the worst possible things. Like... Uh, one of the ones was, what do you get? What do you get for my little brother? What should I get for my little brother who can't walk anymore? New shoes. Bro. My name is added on a small note off to the side because I'm not important enough. Same class as Yukari. Okay, do I now? Let's see. Do we get any introspection spot? Like intros, introspective thoughts. Never see cherry blossoms in full bloom. It feels like springtime has finally arrived. All right. Anybody else? That stands out before we go to the faculty room. I mean, you got a whole school to go through. I know, but I'm checking just in case. Oh my goodness! Oh, for a second there, I thought that I was like, "That's the that's the fantasy model." <laughs> yeah, I know. It surprised me too. I was like, "Wait a second. Oh, 
Oh, it's the samurai teacher and the foreign student did it. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. Baby, never change. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Never change, baby. How the hell do I not remember this? Oh, <gasps> look who it is. Yep. Huh? The library. Gee, I wonder who's one of my favorite characters in this game. Strange. Honestly, in the original, she was the first one I went with for Max Social Link bonding. Aww, she definitely deserves it. Big time. But for those of you who are not aware as well, uh, apparently, canonically, if you, it's uh, sorry, it's canonical that you get her social link to Max because she gets all the confidence and everything that she needs. Because in Persona 4, you go on a field trip to GeckoCon. And oh, that's right! She's the student council president. That's right! I forgot they visit GeckoCon in Persona 4 where that happens! Mm-hmm. And she's the student council president who welcomes you. So wait, she's technically a first year then in this game then, right? That's correct. So and we are takes the... takes place two years later. So we are the senpai. You also go to a nightclub in 4? Yes, that's true. <laughs> if they ever remake 4... How would they do the nightclub scene? I'm genuinely apparently, curious. Apparently, apparently they're considering it. I'm like, bruh, before you remake 4, please do a full overhaul of remake of 1 and 2 duology. Oh, yeah. please. Yeah. Yeah. Those, like, two, those two need some love and attention. They really do. And I, I think if they completely overhaul them, that... Like, make them in this version, this style, and instead of the rumor system, like, update the social links. And just keep the core story the same. But add, add the prop, like, add the modern mechanics and everything, and I think it would be a fantastic game. Yeah, because 3 is the one that added in, like, the mechanics of, like, um... Uh... The time management and the social links and all of the, all of the stuff that makes modern Persona Persona. Yeah, because 1 and 2, for lack of a better term, were basically just a different, like, one Shimigami two, Tensei club. 1 and 2 were continuations of Shimigami Tensei, yes. You should keep sunglasses. <laughs> oh, Evie. No, I, I, I just had a thought about something with Persona 3 Reload here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you remember in 4 when you uh take the trip back here and... Go to some nightclub, oh, right? The new student? Oh, also, I suppose I should do this. There you go. You should be able to see it now in, in uh, real time. Oh, thank you! And, and what was the question, Lumi? So, you know, during Persona 4, that everyone takes his trip back to uh, GetCon here and they go to the nightclub, right? Yeah. And Risa said that she had. She'd been to the nightclub before a few, mm -hmm. a couple years back. Mm -hmm. Do you think there might be a possibility of us seeing Risei in this? Maybe. If it involves a nightclub. Uh, if it if it's anything, T three P had uh, what's his name from Catherine at the nightclub. Is it kind of sad that for yeah. the briefest of moments, I thought Lumi was going to say, "Do you think there's any chance that if they do a remake of Four, they'll include um." Uh, the scene of uh, the main character choosing uh, for the King's game uh, the person he chooses on the dartboard like in the anime. Hmm. You're That'd be a second amazing. year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. 
Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. What's your first name? I don't have enough guts to ask that question currently. <laughs> Dang it. No, I mean, like, character-wise, I would not have enough guts to ask that question. I know, I know. I mean, unless they changed it. No, they definitely wouldn't have. Wow, such enthusiasm. Well, trying to visit the teacher isn't a bad idea. Been so busy doing what teach? Oh, I'm sure looking over curriculum, planning schoolwork, rating dungeons. What was that last one? Have you seen the Ah, uh, nothing. She's You're not playing the critically acclaimed MMORPG. Oh, I thought you, I, th I thought online. I, that includes the entirety of uh, Methus uh, Methuselah as well as the entirety of the uh, the uh, Ring of Gaia uh, expansions. No, clearly not. With with uh, free trial that includes both of those as well as no restrictions on playtime. Yeah, no, she's totally not playing that. No, she's working the night shift as a maid. You know, I could see it. But first, yep. We need to go to but would she look better than Becky? Ceremony will be starting soon. I don't know. That's hard. As a maid, that, that would be hard. Becky's pretty good as a maid. I mean, it, it's Becky with the two good legs. I mean, come on. What I'll if, show you the way. What if Maid Toriumi was Becky's senpai? And so, another new school year is upon us. Dude, Why I like is that they made him a little bit more serious. Why is it that they almost every single principal in the in the Persona series usually has like a frog or toad face? Why? Why is this a thing? Because they are people that don't move around a lot. Most teachers in Japan, especially female teachers, get shuffled every couple of years so none of them get seniority. If you stick around long enough to get seniority, you can basically lock yourself into becoming a principal. My, how horrifying. No, that that is the goal. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Like, his voice sounds more serious, and I like this. Rather than in the original, it was like, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Well, keep in mind, like back um in the back in the day, like back in two thousand six when the game came to the came to the West, it, we were still on the point where there was still clunky English dialogue in games. Like it's not to the point of the standard how it is today. No, for sure. But that's why I'm saying, like, I do like this updated version for him. It sounds more serious, and I do appreciate it. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? This is new. Wasn't it Junpei that asked this before? Yep. What's the deal between you and her? Oh. And, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. She does? Ah, oh, man, I knew it. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? Wait. How close are you guys? Very. Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. I mean, to be fair, that is true. The teacher gets in trouble if the students misbehave. Wait, it was originally Junpei in the original. I thought so. What's up, dude? How's it going? I like the new Junpei voice. The boy! He seems less... What's the word I'm looking for? McDerp-a-derp. 
Like, he seems more genuine. He seems more genuine with his enthusiasm here. What? Don't look at me like that. And you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. Yeah, he he definitely sounds more friendly and more actually enthusiastic to be here. I mean, don't get me wrong, the original VA was still good, but this Jubei just actually hits right. Like, I was never really a huge fan of Junpei, but I think I could actually like this one. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So, I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Oh my gosh, the person who voices uh, Junpei is... Uh... Uh, Toru from uh, Horimiya. That's awesome! New Gen VAs are a go. Hey, it's Yukatan! Alright, we have a nickname. I mean, I knew the nickname, but now that it's here, I can actually say it. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again. Acting like everybody's best friend. You know... Yukatan, I have to agree with Junpei. It's it, he's not a bad guy. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? But I was just being friendly. Oh yeah. So. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, it's almost like somebody planned it. It must be fate. Grand order. I don't have the courage to say this right now. Maybe I should, could say this stuff. Well, you could say stuff like this without hesitation if I was at least determined. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Uh, yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway. Gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. Yeah. Yeah, we did. What's up with that? Come on. Get the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Because you're hot. My avatar's hot. Why wouldn't they ship us? Worried. Hey, now I need you to nod vigorously for five seconds straight, please. Um, okay, I guess. There you go. She almost shot me and felt bad, so we walked to school together. You know, fair. <laughs> No, I totally didn't tell anybody about what we did last night. Hey yo, alone. This model is followed by Dento Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Ah, uh, hi Rebo. I've I've been thinking about getting a new outfit, but oh, man, that's pricey. Something I might have to save up for and get at the end of the year or something. Uh, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball outfit? Uh, no, just, just a new outfit entirely. Like, maybe a more casual outfit or something. Hmm, indeed. Maybe if, maybe if I, I can make it a goal. Like, if I get, like, to a thousand subs on YouTube or, like, a uh, thousand followers on Twitch. Internet, go. I mean... Not, not, the, not the DOA Beach Volleyball outfit, but I mean, just the new outfit, period. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, internet, go. The rogue deserves it. And you're just 425 away from the Twitch one. Yeah. And 198 away from YouTube. Well, there you go. You got your goals, chat. 
Mm. Oh. Guess what got announced too. Oh, what got announced? Good. Dress up Dunley season two. Yes. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? I won't say anything about how we uh how you handled that that shaft last night. That handle, that grip. Shaft! Oh yeah. <laughs> that got in. <laughs> what kind of outfit do you have in mind? I was thinking something a little bit more casual. Um like maybe like t shirt, skirt, boots, um Maybe crop top instead. I don't know. <gasps> a Yuru Camp inspired outfit. That would be adorable. Now you're not taking my shirt. What? Last night? Yeah, you uh -oh. did. Uh-oh. Last night? Nothing gamma happened. Look, Gamma 2, don't be afraid of Gamma 1. Get the wrong idea. Her shocked expression here is beautiful. Points at the list of doujin between them all. Those take place later in the social link. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, you sure about that, you gotty? Now, there's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Maybe now. I mean, maybe? Again, that's... Uh, who cares? Like, I would want something that I would wear more than, like, once or twice. That's the thing. Because so model like out outfits for like something like a live two D is s expensive. Yeah. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Who the man? Yo the man, Jinbei. Who the man? Who the man? But now, like. We're probably talking for a new outfit like eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Like they're not cheap. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station again. Like my whole model was like twelve hundred. So she wouldn't have to redo the whole model, but definitely would have to redo like everything from the neck down. Observe the spectacles on uh, Nell's head. Those are basically $500 on their own. I'm probably over exaggerating, but. You know, that doesn't sound like a bad outfit, bro. That actually sounds kind of cute. Maybe the, not the pink tank top, but different color. Maybe like, I don't know, black and red. That's a print tank top. Oh, print, not pink. Okay. Maybe. Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around. If you want to leave, head for the school entrance. Yo, oh, lo okay, oh, lo go. oh, Lord, I am such a Junpei. Okay, Ryupei. Ryupei! <laughs> Damn it, it's, it time, it's time for you pay ace detective. More like still pay ace defective. Just wait until he gets his coffee. You pay, love it up there. Then it'll be coffee, you pay. And thus I have created real pay. <laughs> Just another character to add to the Ryu verse. Thanks, Lumi. I mean, I did help make Nel Nelvit. It's true, and I got art of that. Hang on, I'll be right back. Gonna grab myself something to drink. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and drink it myself too. I'll be right back.
All right, let's go. Yo, he's actually following me? Hey. Don't go teaching Saiyak in any weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, Yukikan. Should we broadcast my angelic voice? <laughs> Can we just senpai? You know, fair, based. I agree. Getting Pokemon cloning done for a friend, how's Persona? Didn't get reloaded yet, waiting for later this year. No fair. Head grief. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? Making such a sour face again, Odakiri kun. I guess some things never change. I have returned. As have I. Welcome back. Alright, let's head upstairs. Nah. That's where the classroom door is. If you want to go to the rooftop, you got to use the stairs on the other side. But I want to go talk to Mitsuru Senpai. You know Mitsuru Senpai? Damn right I do. Have you seen her? <laughs> Have I seen her? You're joking about that, right? Oh, <gasps> she's up here. Yep. God, she's got such an amazing glow up. Look at that. My girl. <laughs> just uh, wait until you actually hear. Just wait until you actually hear her voice. Uh, I'm already going to be a second year. I hope to continue with my new class. So, now, I know, I know, I know we all love Luke, Yukari and uh, Mitsuru, and I do too, but Fuka was the first crush for me. I love Fuka's uh, grown up design. I really do. From uh, P4 From Arena? Arena? Yes! I kind of wonder if. When we get the answer, do you think they're going to add in a little epilogue of the afterwards? I don't know, maybe. Still for attention. This would totally be a save point, don't you think? That is that is actually a reference, because uh, there was something like this in Persona 2, and that was a save point. Oops, sorry, had it. We're still setting up shop today. <sighs> oh, there you are, Mitsuru Senpai. Yes. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. soul you say mm. well for right. training room okay Nell, you ready for this yeah 
So the so the uh, voice actress who voices uh, Fuka in this game is uh, voices another uh, legacy character from a popular RPG series. She is the current voice of uh, Yuffie from the FF7 series. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I just gotta say, the way they have brought Gekyokan to life in, like, this particular engine is a, is just stunning. Uh... Chemicals! Let's make bombs. Oh, maybe. <gasps> a laboratory! Come, come, Didi. You are not worthy in the ways of science. No blowing stuff up yet. Come, now, Didi. You need to get up to the laboratory. It is time for actual science, and we don't need you to blow things up. Hmm. Me trying to do Dexter's lab impressions, and I'm just getting ignored. I just I don't remember enough Dexter's laboratory. Okay, next next watch night. Um, Nell and Chat watch Dexter's lab. We have to include the movie. I mean, duh. It wouldn't be the same without the movie. Oh, hey, isn't that Fuka's friend? Oh, it is? Yeah. Wait. Okay, uh, for a moment there, I was like, why did this person look like a dachi? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about murders! Now, don't tell anyone I said this, but. Yukiko Magi's missing, and we kind of think she's the killer. Thanks, Adachi. Oh. Kendo team use it for practice. Yeah. Swim team. Track team. Right. Okay, so we got Kendo track and swimming now? Do we have swimming before? I don't nope. remember. Nope. I know we had Kendo and track. We didn't have the swimming before. And I know Insert that in the FMC's got volleyball. Inserts models of Yukari, Mitsuru, and uh, Fuka all in school swimsuits. You're welcome. I, you know, I'll take her summer swimsuit instead. If you can't handle her at the sc school swimsuit, you don't deserve her at the summer swimsuit. Yes, I do. Okay, but listen... Yeah. Yes! Hey, look, it's Akihiro sent by his, uh, Akihiko, and he's getting blasted by a bunch of girls. Wait, was that? Oh. Check out the jocks on their run. Was that? Ryuji? Oh, uh, we're gonna... Also, no. listen listen to the song, now. No, because, no, no, this is... The year is 2009. It's too much about, like... Eight years or so before five. 
to be too young. I know, but I'm wondering if that was just a reference. I I, I would I would not be surprised. Also, new arra new arrangement of this song, baby. I think the entire soundtrack has been rearranged. I'm so excited, dude. Bored woman over the phone told me you need to join a sports club. Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop city with Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Oh. Oh, that's right, Junpei. I'm sorry. Yeah, we tend to forget that. Stay safe, man. I know you need it. Can we give Junpei a hug? Is it too soon to give Junpei a hug? No. Oh my god, I can go everywhere? Okay. You're not locked into going straight to the dorms on the first couple of days. Let's go. So what do you think of the new overlay for that map? I like it. Freedom. You know, I'm tempted to put up a video because I saw I saw Deuce do a hilarious um like he likes doing challenge runs of various SMT titles. Ryu, uh have you ever watched his cuff stuff before? I think I've stumbled across it, but I've never actually sat down to watch them. Like, he'll do stuff like uh, playing through Digital Devil Saga with only one character, or going through, um, like, Nocturne using only Demi Fiend, stuff like that. Okay. Do you, do you guys want me to play his most recent video on here? It's only three minutes long, but it's the best challenge video he's ever done. Totally up to you. Alright, give me a minute. This is this is hilarious, and I think you all will enjoy this. Do me a second to find it. Oh yeah, I'm watching Mume sing fire through fire and flames this morning. That was fun. I know, I sent it to Sagrol. Give me a second. There it is. So a couple of all right, muting. All right, I'm going to bring it up on screen, and then you guys got to watch on, on uh, the Twitch side, okay? I have the Twitch side up. All right. I am playing the video now. So a couple of days ago, I saw a comment under one of my community posts saying that beating Persona 3 Reload without crying was impossible. As a self-proclaimed masochist and Shin Megami Tensei enjoyer, I always welcome a challenge, so I decided to prove them wrong. Now, without further ado, let's get on with it. Alright, so first, I gotta work on maxing out my social links to obtain juicy rewards. Let's start with the lovely old couple at Bookworms. Oh, that's right. Our son has already passed away. Oh, damn. Uh, um, well, that's pretty rough. Um, how about I try another social link? Hey, you! The Gourmet King! Can you tell me what's the best meal I can eat in this area? We have to eat every chance we get. Because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. You know, just like my little brother. Oof. 
Um, this is proving to be harder than I thought, but it's okay. Who the fuck says uh, that? I can still keep going. Oh yeah, there is this little girl called Maiko who is playing by herself at the playground. Surely it will go better this time. Dad! <laughs> he hit me! Whoa, 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 whoa. All I did was ask why they're getting a divorce. Ugh. Ooh, uh, this... This is starting to get tough. But don't worry, Deus. You got this. Stay calm. Remember, deep breath. Deep breath. Ah, uh, uh, right. I just remembered something. Last time Michael introduced me to one of her friends, I think it should be fairly easy to complete the social link. One hour later. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh. <laughs> oh man! Dude, I thought this game was supposed to be like a merry adventure with your friends. What is this? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so no, you cannot beat Persona 3 Reload without crying. <laughs> I, I, I mean, science just proved it. <laughs> I mean, I could always go try and go through that challenge. I don't know, man. The last guy alone. Alright. Let's go to Port Island Station for a moment. Buy some drinks now. No cola for you yet. to get traveling to go in one direction. Oh, hey, Morgana. How are you doing? That's what I thought. No, Lady On's not here yet. Get to bed! Go, go find somebody else. Like, go to Tokyo. John Park? That's new. And a bar down here? Wait a second. I saw something. Mm-hmm. So, you know how Wakaba from Persona 5 was working on something, right? Yeah. And met Sojo at a certain location? Years ago. Hmm. Maybe. No, oh, this can. No one did do a uh, art drawing of the current timeline for this of middle school. All, all we know. 
it for sure is that between three and four is only two years. Between four and five, I think, is like five years. The only clarification we have on that is basically a poster of uh, Risei in the background. Yeah, you can judge as well based off of the calendars. Because specific dates only fall on certain days of the week on certain years. Yep. There's a lot of theories in my Yeah, because you, you, you also have to factor in everyone, like, people might be like, oh, well, it's only every seven years. You have to worry about that. No, because you have to factor in leap years. Which we're currently in this year. I want my soggy fries. No, my soggy fries. No soggy fries for you yet. Try asking your mom. Good, because if this was natural Japan, just me talking to you would get me locked in jail. Or a certain buzzer going off, then I'm getting chased. Well, here's the thing. Anybody, anybody over the age of, I think, 15 who talks to somebody who's, like, in, like, uh, like the first year, like, the first two years of school, the police will immediately start eyeing you. Oh, yeah. I mean, on the one hand, I can understand why, but at the same time, it's like, it, it doesn't always ha mean that. Let's just chill. Have you seen the world today? The meaning of chill seems scarce. Deary. I know. Upstairs. There. Yeah. Casual restaurant with affordable meal set. But does it come with more soggy fries? Ramen. Hug a curry bowl, hug a curry bowl, hug a curry bowl. Hug a curry, hug a curry, hug a curry. Wait, is there a third floor now? Yep. I was like, where's the manga shop? Beef balls? Is it like the beef bowl challenge from Persona 4? There's the Manga Star Net Cafe. More vending machine. Alright, I guess we're off to the norms. We've checked everywhere else. God, this looks so great. Yeah, and you don't go right through the door. You can actually explore. I mean, just in terms of, like, how they've developed this entire overworld, like, the the overhaul of, like, design, not just from, like, original pre-3 to this, but just from, like, how uh, Persona 4... No, not Persona 4. Like, Five. Persona 5 was to this. Like, even if you take into account, like, um, uh, the, uh... Persona 5 Royal to this. Like, my god! Like, night and day. The overhaul is real. Well, I can definitely understand... Like, when they did P3D, like the dancing one, I think then that was, that was them testing the model set. 
and then they were, they, that's when they started working on the actual game proper. They it had to have been. It it was. Welcome back. Yes, Queen, I have returned. How may I serve as your stool? No. <laughs> what? I wouldn't mind letting her sit on me. I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong there. She's the Ice Queen of Executions. Why wouldn't I be her throne? I knew Nell was the sub. <laughs> oh, it wasn't too bad. I know that you mean. Yes. I see. Don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Because clearly, you are incapable of doing work on your own. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day. Go do some studying. I mean, get some rest, because you clearly won't study. Why, why must you look down on me like this? I'm not enter me to the wall slam you. By the way. In the wall slam. It's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. But there are a lot what if of complex-looking technical books lined up. I wonder who collected these. It's filled with complex-looking books. I can't tell what they are from the titles. I wonder who's reading them. Gee, I wonder. I wonder what smart person reading a book reading a right next to you. Okay, that's. I was like, there's three plugs plugged in here. I see two objects. Okay, now there's a cord going all the way. That's nicely, nice and consistent, at least. Indeed. I wonder who is reading all those books, such as the person reading the book right next to you, who is a grade above you, and is obviously very, very intelligent. Wait like, a second. I like that they didn't update the tack. Yukari G what? is still using her old phone. I well, mean... It is 2009. I know, but I still like the fact that they didn't update it to modern tech and give her a smartphone. No, wait. It, this isn't set in 2009, is it? Yes. Pretty sure. I'm double-checking yeah. that. The calendar says 2009. I can't check my calendar, sorry. Hey, kitchen! Now I'm oh. sad. Oh, it is! Well, damn! Alright, while you're there, can you confirm that uh, it's 2011 for four? There's a notice inside the fridge. Next fridge clearance date is 5-2. The fridge might have space on this date. Wait, does that mean you might be able to cook something? Persona 4 is set between 2011 and 2014. It's very... Cool. I, I mean, 2011, 2011 to 2012. That's what I meant. Yeah, because it's got to take place two years later because of uh, the student council thing. So... Hey. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm not moving. Why? It goes from 2011 to, into 2012. Hold on. Bear with me for a moment, chat. I'm not... Like, my phone's not tracking properly. Phone! It couldn't handle the power of me, Sudo. And who... I mean, who among us can't? Nobody can. That's too, too perfect. I don't know if perfect if is the right word, but I mean, I'm sorry, what? Right word, you can take that back if it's <laughs> Alright, that should work. Give me a second. Okay, yeah. I I was my I was plugged in, but apparently it decided it didn't want to charge. 
Oh dear. For a, minute there, for a minute there looked like your model was just looking down on us. Yeah. There we go. I mean, to be fair, a good majority of us deserve it. I want to cook with uh, Shinjiro Senpai, and then he can wall slam me. Okay, would you ra would you rather be wall slammed by Shinjiro, or would you rather be slammed by uh, uh, Miss Kitty Jo? I mean, obviously Miss Kitty Jo, but Shinjiro is definitely uh, the perfect counterpart for Minako. Yes, he is literally the best boy. Romance, not, uh, romance fantasy with uh, Ken are weird, in my opinion. Okay, but why? It's an all-in-one PC. Okay, but uh, can it play FSN? FSN? Fate Stay Night. Oh. Lumi got it. You're supposed to include the slash. And no, it can't. It can only play Innocent Sin online. Damn. Wait a minute. Isn't that the commander from Strange Journey? Mayhaps. Huh? Commander uh, Gordon, I think it is? Uh, from Strange Journey. I think? I don't know. Vacant Realm. Vacant Realm. Vacant Realm. Oh, that was Akihiko's room, wasn't it? Yep, Akihiko yep. Sonata. My, voiced by my boy, Sayu. Shaggy! Let me in! No, no, we're not going to do a panty raid on Mitsuru's room. Alright, let's go. Nell's disappointed that she cannot go to the roof. She's disappointed that she cannot perform the panty raid on the on the room of the girl that she likes. She is disappointed. Alright, let's just watch some TV. <sighs> you can lie in bed and watch TV. My boy. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. He seems a little deep for Akihiko. Yeah, it seems like Alejandro's putting it on a little bit too hard. I'll I'll give it some time though. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? 
Yeah. It'll probably grow on me, it just... I'm not used to Akihiko being that deep. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. For those not aware, the person who voices Akihiko is the VTuber Sayu. Have you heard the rumor about, uh, what's again? The bathroom. Hold up. That's all news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just went around. Just sits around staring at walls and stuff lately. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, it's only it's only thing she says it's it's coming. It's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? <laughs> Whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. First bell is rung and you're late for class. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kans uh, Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in uh, Tota Kan- uh, Kanako's work lately. His essays are fantastic, he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Oh, speaking of haikus, they often use words or phrases related to the seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think- Tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streams would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey, hey Yuri, were you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, rain of flowers, mystical marriage, and vivid carp streamers, which phrase symbolizes summer? Jinpei, were you just not paying attention? She literally just told what? you. What? Uh... Psst, Minato, you were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand! Damn it, Ryu Pei. When you're going about your day-to-day -day life, you will come across certain actions that require you to use one of the three stats. Academics, charm, and courage. And this is the only three stats you had before everybody got complicated with Persona 4 and 5. Don't worry, Persona 6 will have you juggling 22 stats. What phrase symbolizes summer? Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, Mystical Mirage and Rain of Flowers represent spring. Mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And Rain of Flowers refers to the spring showers around that time. Cherry blossoms bloom. Not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that on our, on our next topic is... <laughs> well, you know, well, you know how much I'd like to pay attention. Yeah, Junpei, pay better attention in class. Man, you seriously saved my bacon, Minato! Sorry I couldn't give him, give him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I could hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular! We only have to deal with three, thank god! You know, I like the fact that because you're becoming more popular, it's your charm that's going up, not your academics. Oh yeah, it was oh. academics last time, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm sad because now that it's academics, I can no longer um, describe to it as knowledge, which means I can no longer shout to call it K-knowledge. I'm that's going to miss... I am going to miss shouting K-knowledge. It's Jinpei. Jumpape. Jumpapi. 
You are told our strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. Oh yeah, this guy. So this is our new guest. Don't worry, Ryu. I'm sure he'll punish you. I will bite you, Nell. Good evening. If you wanna go oh, his voice is buttery smooth. Who is this voice? I must know. Uh, let me talk. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations. But it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Uh. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Guest room, Lumi? There's been quite a few. It's, uh, Jake Green. Are we sure that this one is Jake Green? Yep. Okay. Hey, I know. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, I'm trying to hear it. seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? There are only four students in this storm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Uh, yeah, the other night I saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? But you know what? Nah, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. You know, if they don't give us FEMC, I can I could totally see uh, somebody modding in FEMC into this game. I'd be about it. If you'll excuse me. I, I guarantee you that's gonna be one of no, it's not gonna be the first mod. It's definitely gonna be up there though. But I we all know Gumby, what the first mods are gonna be. I'm sure you're worn out from all these bikini words. models. You may want to consider going to bed early. Mm, sure, let's let's use those words. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. No, no. Boo! Boo! See, when when Nell is booing at your puns, you know you've done something wrong. <laughs> Even I wouldn't do that. No, I was booing the Kenamata roommates for it, but now the book room is good. That was a good pun. Clever, isn't it? Yes, yes it was. I want to hear more of his puns. You'll get used to his lame jokes. I thought they were good. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to the rest of my room without watching TV or doing anything else of, of merit. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. 
The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Naomi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. Not a vision of privacy at all. No, completely okay, not. It. Uh, it sucks. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Nice hey, it's a baby. That was the baseline rockers. Brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week. Same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Curicho Electronics. Bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. What? Ooh. Huh? Wait a minute. Alright, turn to go, turn to go. What the? What's happening to me? I think he turned to goo. I'm slightly disappointed that there was not more visceral. The original was more visceral. Yeah. Yeah. We actually saw him turn to goo. Hmm. He's still yep. sleeping. Yep, I'm sleeping in my bed. I'm un I'm a tired. All that school. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep. But he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Suede Chamber. Don't you mean the Velvet Room? No, due to copyright laws, we can't use that. Damn it, Igor. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Oh, that is Kirk Thornton. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between, between dream, dream and, and reality. reality. Mind, Mind and, and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. It's the document I signed at the dorms. How the hell did it get here? Man. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. 
In other words, don't save, scum bitch. Huh. All right. Hold on to this. Until we meet again. Feels like I have a strange dream. Ah, oh, it's time to go to school. Yo, I'm oh, so sleepy today. It's real pay. In times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. I'll sleep in class. Oh, you think so? Well, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know. Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, but we have class literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty, Nasty Old Code. Ikoda. Ikoda, sorry. Ikoda-san. Ikoda-sensei. Now, moving on. <clears throat> I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong. The students, the teachers, don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. Can we read more about Finland, sir? Shut up. Can I close my eyes for a few minutes? No, we have to stay awake. Good grief. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now I'll be in textbooks. I'll I'll give you a surprise quiz on this tomorrow. First on the syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it the bomb. Wow! Oh, that's so dated. <laughs> Yo, 2000s called, they want their lingo back. Our, I feel it, like is, a fossil now. It, is anybody else fossilizing right now? Early uh, 2000s called, they want their lingo back. No, I want to keep it. Ugh, I can tell you people are zoning out on me. Stop! Bunch of... Punk. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. My Mitsuru dating skill went up by one. <laughs> yeah, there's charm, courage, and Mitsuru dating skill. Sup? How's it going? Wanna stop somewhere on the way home? Uh, uh, where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? Yo, can we go to uh, Wild Duck Burger? I want me some soggy fries. That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. God, Ikoda made me feel like I was turning into a fossil. This is Polonia Mall. Oh. Ow. Oh. The pronunciation? No. I'm just reminded about the fact of why this is one of Junpei's favorite places. Oh. Because of how much time he spends here. And why he spends so much time here. Well, just let that happen. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs, too. 
I'm sorry, what? Hey, yo. Yep. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. God, oh, renting CDs. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. You know what? Go for it, pay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh no, I'm turning into Sea Dog VA. No! <laughs> you, you get the fan DLC route instantly, and it doesn't have the Ken Romance wish. Do you wish for it? Hypothetical Monkey Paw? Mm, no, because I know that there's always a catch. This is why I... oh, come on, man. <laughs> this is why I don't play crane games. Are you are you actually this bad at crane games? I I just never attempt them. <laughs> one more try. Just one more. That didn't sound like a yes or no. Tell me Look, what the catch is oh. anyway. I'll, I'm interested. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. I need my stool here for when I read. I mean, uh, Aki, Akihiko's right there. It's too lumpy. In any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Or, what if I what if I say that I don't? What are you gonna do? Tuck me in? Alright, so left button is for shortcuts. They so brought the shortcuts back from P3P. Yep. Alright, cool. I will check it out after I brought thank you. By the way. There's a dorm mother here that wants to cook and stuff, but it's just the students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a place not to use it. Yeah, it does. I think... Look, I was thinking back then, I didn't mean to actually turn half the kitchen to some into a different dimension, alright? I was experimenting back then. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who? Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I heard she got her camera from her mentor. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. So, are we just going to ignore the fact that there's a giant kitchen right there and nobody's going in there and making a sandwich for all of us awesome students? I'll go make a sandwich. No. I will go make sand sandwich. You sit and play game. Okay. Uh, have fun with that alternate dimension. Oh, I'll relax. Compared to the Ryuverse, this is nothing. Uh, the thing is about that alternate dimension, um, it changes every five minutes. All right, so we're going to save because in save slot number two, because that's the only spot you're supposed to save. Hey, no, I came back. I made I made you a sandwich. I made you a BLT. Is also, it a proper BLT and not one of the BLTs from the police's game? No, it, it it's the right it's the regular old BLT on toast, maybe a little bit of garlic mayo. Mm, very light mayo, please. I'm not a fan of mayo. Okay, I'll 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 keep the one with the garlic mayo. Here's the here's the one with the. Uh... Wait, did you did you want some butter on it or no butter? Butter, please. Lots and lots. Okay, uh, but butter toast. There you go, BLT with butter, no meal. Uh -oh. It's just, I'm not a fan of mayo. Uh, neither am I. I have to be in the right mood for it. Also, also, oh. I, also, I made another friend. Also, I made another friend in that room. Everybody, meet Dragon Ryu. Uh oh. 
you just you 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 just see a, you just see a, you just see a black dragon come in wearing uh, a wig a wig of my hair. Look. Dragon yeah, apparently yeah, apparently I didn't realize that there was a dragon Ryu in the Ryu verse. Why do you think I told you to be careful with that dimension the alternate dimension? And again, like I said, compared to compared to like the regular stuff I can I do deal with the Ryu verse, this is nothing. Ah, it's a full moon tonight. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. No exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? What was that contract all about? Eh. I'm just gonna sleep here awkwardly on my side. I've done that before. What, you guys don't sleep on your sides? Well, not like that. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Yeah, it's almost like I've been experiencing this for a while. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. Oh, here we go! It's time, baby! I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? How is this gonna compare to the original? That's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! I like the blend. Like, the fact that Akihiko has, like, the new, the new one on, but they still have the actual armbands on right now on the, the original uniforms. Let's go, baby! It's like there's the, the regular uniforms and then there's combat uniforms. Uh, I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Why would you leave it here? This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada Kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm already awake. I woke up from a loud noise and the fact that I really need to go to the bathroom. I need to pee. Yusuke explained himself in the most eloquent way possible. I have to pee! Wait, I Yusuke... Don't... Wait, hold on. You said Yusuke proclaimed, proclaimed himself in the most over-the-top way, you said? He, had, he, he proclaimed it? In the most, in the most, yeah, I can't remember the exact line. It basically, he, his excitement in the most, whatever way possible, and it's just him going, "I have to pee" for like five minutes. I feel like it would be far more eloquent over the top. 
Pardon me, gentle viewers. I apologize for disturbing your peace, but I, the person who was dubbed Daddy Yusuke, need to urinate. In the most eloquent way possible. I have to pee! I right. have to pee! I'm calling bathroom break. Go. You briefly wondered why it's so hard to hear people during animated cutscenes. I have to pee. What? I have to pee? <laughs> Yo! There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay, is this a surprise date? Yeah, all right. Hurry to the first floor. We'll leave through the back. Oh wait, take this just in case. Sweet, some protect. Wait, this isn't the protection I was hoping for. <laughs> That is not the protection I was expecting. Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh, oh, let's pull back. Okay, they changed that line. I forgot the original line. The, the one we're fighting is not the one Akihiko was fighting. Oh yeah. What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go. We have to get to safety. Hey. Well, what if we use the kitchen? I can make I can make it a souffle. I, I recommend the creme brulee. Yeah. Hey. Heck, I can even make us I can even make us tiramisu. Good idea. getting all handsy. Oh, 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 oh yes. That's it. One of the monsters that attacked us. It's a shadow. Go on. It's here. <laughs> Wait.
Yo! Well, holy damn. Uh, I am thou. Thou art I. From the seed of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus. Master of strength. Master of strength. Give me the roar! Give me the roar! Just as we thought. Knock knock! Lack the the audio punch, but the fact that they still tore him apart, beautiful. Oh, you can actually see it now. I I'm not spoiling what I saw there. Let's go, Thanatos. Give me your visceral roar now. Give me that roar. Oh, where's my scream? Okay. The only knock against him. Okay, so when it burst out, it was lacking that crunchy sound. Like the, the actual visceral tearing open. Yeah, from the, from was, the original game, yeah. And it was lacking the scream from when Thanatos actually finished off that. Because Thanatos was like, Rah! and then while he's screaming, it's statics, and then changes back to Orpheus. Aside from that, that was almost perfect recreation. Very well done. Very it well was, done. It was so good. Better than the movie. Better than the movie. <laughs> By a country mile. What on earth was that? What? Bala was asking why no screaming. Obtained Orpheus, awakened power achievement. Is it over? Alright, I gotta message you for you guys for a quick second. I'm gonna put it in the voice chat here. Just because I saw something and I know that both of you have played it before. I promise to keep my lips as seals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No! Get away from me! It was subtle, but it was there. Oh, yeah. Those shadows, did they break off from that other one? If you played before, you probably should have noticed it. My stole my opinion. Top three best battle theme in all of Persona.
mean... Mass Destruction is just so good. Alright. Uh, Lil, go ahead. I was gonna say, I mean, I... You guys want... I could tell you one good thing they th that they did of the mechanics they did take out. Hmm. If you guys maybe, want to hear it. Maybe after. I definitely, I definitely do, but not during the stream. Actually, I'll put in, I'll put in the uh, chat. Excellent. I will definitely check that out after. Uh, I would say um, my personal favorites for top three Persona Battle Tracks. Uh, wiping All Out, uh, uh, Rivers in the Dry Land, and the Mass Destruction. Rivers in the Desert is definitely up there. More than deserves to be up there. Yeah, but I'm sorry, wiping all out definitely takes the cake. Oh yeah, definitely. That that's one I honestly don't hear much from people. A good choice. Alright. But here here's one good thing that they did do. Oh, Yeah, I'm assuming you posted it in the voice chat because I can't alt tab. Uh, yeah. Yeah, wiping all is the FMC's battle theme. Alright. Now, if I recall. Yo, the cut in! I, 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 I was looking away. Damn it, I didn't see it. Oh, oh my gosh. That the cut-in was so good. I've seen some fan art of the cut-ins before the game came out. I was just like, oh, this must be something from the trailer. No, this is in-game? Oh boy. I don't know how to feel about that, Lumi. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I, s I sleep now. Nap time! Thud. Somebody order a stupid looking boss! Silence must sleep. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, say something! I want sleep. Uh, I, I got something I can say. It's Whoa. so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Oh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't recognize or realize. The reason... The main character in this game passes out from awakening his power, whereas from 4 and 5 they do not, is where they do it. In 4 and 5, they're inside... Uh, in 4, they're inside the TV world, and in 5, they're in the metaverse. Yeah, this is... Even though it, the Dark Hour is like its own separate thing, this is still the real world. Yeah, so this ability to call Personas in the real world is a significantly stronger toll on the body. I think they actually cover that in the uh, Persona 3 characters' um, storylines in Arena as well. They mentioned something about how much easier it is to bring oh, yeah. forth Personas uh, in the TV world. Mitsuru brings up the fact like when they're in the... T when they're in the TV world, she's like, holy shit, I don't even need to use my evoker, but when she uses it, it greatly enhances her persona's abilities. But Fuka's there, like, outside of the TV world, standing next to the TV that Akihiko and Mitsuru and Aigis jumped in, popped her, pers popped her persona, again, outside of the TV world, it was able to outscan Risei to the point where she mapped the entire thing. Also, but to be the fairest of fairs, Fuka was also far more experienced in Persona use by that point. Not just—it's not just that. It's not just that. 
Vuka is on another level when it comes to scanning your recon. That's true. That is very, very true. Vuka's scanning and recon capabilities are insane. Whereas Resay, as it's confirmed with Arena 2, like with Ultimax, that Resay is not as adept at scanning, but because of that, she was able to adjust and alter her own persona to become combat combat abilities. And bless so for it, because so I was able to play as Resay, damn it. So she was able to uh, come closer to Mitsuru style. Yay! But, yeah, no. I don't even think Futaba could match uh, uh, Futaba's ability. Or Futaba would be able to... I don't think Futaba would be able to match Fuka. Well, that's a question for another day. Yeah. That was the power of Persona. The manifestation of your psyche. My psyche? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. A mask? Like something a phantom thief would wear? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. I I thought of doing an interesting series with specifically Persona, but it would require a lot of work. What's the thought? Listening. I wanted to do something where I would upload a video and release it based off of what day of the week it is in Persona with whatever happens during that day. Oh, wow. For an ideal playthrough of each version of the game. That is so much work. So, like, FES, Original, Portable, Reload, 4... Four golden, five and five royal. Like, just go through that one day, and anything that happens during that one day is in the video. But that's huh. it, just that day. So, like, April fourth, I would upload April fourth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is a lot of commitment. Holy shit! That is. That'd be a lot of dedication. It was the, it was a lot easier to plan the idea out uh, back before five dropped, just because yeah. three just because three and four, the dungeons you can basically just go okay you cleared this dungeon, but five's dungeons are so intricate to the storyline that you have to conclude all of that. Yeah. So maybe I maybe I'll do something like that again in the future, but I'll stick to one title. So like all of Persona 3s, all of Persona 4s, all of Persona 5s. Yeah, that would that would be a bit more sense. And then just do one for each year. How do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. That... The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um... I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. 
You gave me the wrong kind of protection and then a giant monster came out. What do you want from me, girl? But wow, that power of yours was really something. <sighs> what did I do? And that power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kinda relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group, so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Mm, I was scared, too. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. I don't wanna! I literally been in bed for a week. I wanna go out and party like it's 1999. Alright, what's on TV? All the tourist families have had a, had a wonderful spring. The attraction will remain open until May 5th, the last day of the holidays next month. Tomorrow's forecast to be a great day for fun. Why not participate in some outdoor events? Next up is today's exchange rate. The US dollar is trading at 50 billion times the North American free will dollar. Indeed, and apparently the market's gonna be hitting it soon, so you just need to take all your stocks and just just transport it in waffles, tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Yeah, I could go for some tasty waffles. Waffles! Buy waffles! It's kind of funny, I was just, I I recently found a new series to watch on the internet. Literally, um, they take uh, celebrities, and uh, it's called Last Meals. They ask them, um, what would, if you had a last meal before you die, what would be the last meal? And they actually make the last meal for them. <laughs> um, but then that's also worrying, but aww. And, uh, and it, it, it's basically like... Uh, hot ones, but instead of like uh, torturing them with spicy wings, but they... Basically makes them an, make them an entire gourmet meal. <laughs> um, I I'm in the middle of watching one that has Tom Hanks in it, and he started his out with um, uh, French toast. Yep. And then, uh, oh, I, I just finished up the one that had binging the guy with uh, binging with Babish on there, and uh, his f and for his dessert choice, he's like, I want snow covered in maple syrup. Oh. Uh, Ryu, that, um... Ye? That card game that, I, that I'm, I'm playing for Dimension Chasers? Ye, ye. Uh, the backer kit is open for it now. They're already... Oh, they're almost at 700% funded. I've been keeping an eye on it. Anyway, you got anything to tell me? 
You pay. Sorry, I was yawning. Anyways, I got something to tell you. You do? Why are you full of energy? Hey, you totally thought I was a pain in the ass just now, didn't you? Uh, my bad. I'm not the same person as I was yesterday. Just forget all about... Just forget all about the old Junpei. Anyways, just for always making everything about me... You should turn up too. After all, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I can hear you from all the way over there. Huh? You two didn't go to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Are you stupid or something? Ugh, I heard enough about that. Anyway, Sayaka, are you feeling better? I'm sorry to hit you with this so soon after you recover, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Go to the room after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? Hold up! Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? Mitsuru? Not a hint of hesitation. Nice! <laughs> not a breath of hesitation! It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on, we're gonna be late if we stay around here talking. Well, that's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants with those big old trunks and everything. Well, that wraps up for the Stone Age. Uh, I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. Can we just move on? I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. It's rather boring, really. But it's not what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not being, it's not easy being an adult. Paycheck's not worth it. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get the day in the sun? Long live the samurai! I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Sayakun. The places where people dump their waste, the Jomon period, what are they called nowadays? Uh, I want to say middens. Can someone confirm? Uh, let me check. Because I don't think they're boneyards. And hobbles is already a word. It is middens. Haha! -ha! Mm, that's correct. All right. They're called middens. The word is Scandinavian in origin and means dunghill. Eh, that didn't work. work. I'm not interested in this at all. It stinks. Ugh, I want to get to the age of katanas. I think it's so dull. Ah, that was a terrible joke. This teacher is literally us grown up. Everyone in class is looking at me with respect. I have increased my cane. No, my K arm. Not my cane norridge, my chat arm. Yes, please. Also, I love the hearts on her socks. The fact that you can see them much more clearly now makes it all the better. I never even noticed them until you just mentioned it. Sock it to them. We live in the same dorm and all, and I've been a little worried. What if you pass out again on the way home? I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. We really have to come straight home. I wanted to go buy some soda. You can get some soon. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. No, no, you can totally come in for a while. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us.
What's that thing shining on my desk? On my bed. These lyrics are actually really good. It's so it's so great. Is it just is it wrong that I want a mix of of this with uh, him and Callie? No. I literally I literally want to see him and Callie collab so bad. Nothing good on. Okay, at least that's true. Nothing on the shelf yet. Calvin hangs in the wall. No specific plans are written on it at the morning. At the moment. Desk is neatly organized. How long till I get to, how long until I can crack open that laptop and start playing MMOs? How long until we get a plant coon in here? I don't think that's gonna happen with this tag. No! But Plankoon was the best side character in Persona 5! Yes, and that's where he'll stay. I'm we sad now. We can't have Plankoon upstaging Mitsuru-chan. Where in the rulebook does that say that that needs to happen? Well, if Plankoon is the best character... I said best side character, not main okay, character. Okay, well then Chihiro needs to maintain the best side character. Okay, you have a point. Glass is librarian. You know, I would have an argument against that, but I don't. So. Good. Ah, there you are. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is another coup. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Between? It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight. And every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them, those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? You know, I can't apologize for that. Why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I am just a thick-headed teenage boy with so much angst inside me that needs to drink all the protein in sight and just smash everything with my fist. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's for short. I'm sorry, I love no. it. I love it. Oh my god. The way that he rolls the tongue off of those. Play it again. Do it. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's for short. Damn, that's, that's smooth. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. How do you fight them? Although rare, 
There are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. Hmm, I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Hi, Blue. What he's trying to say is we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Fuck it, I'm in. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the whole rub is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Mildra, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. I'll Hello, give Mildred the shout out. Thank you. Hello. I'm I'm just getting my invoker and be joining the specialized extracurricular execution squad. Hold up. Seize for short. Oh, never mind. Oops. Yeah? I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest. To create a persona of the fool archive. First off, excellent. This was not voiced in the original. Second off, uh, I have a full set of these. That does not surprise me. And they're official. And I want them. I want. I want a copy of my own. Uh, to get them, uh, you got half of them. From pre-ordering Persona 4 Arena, and you got the other half by pre-ordering uh, Persona Q. Damn you, Atlas! Well, so I, I got, got half, both. I got the half from Arena. I was like, I want the full set, and one of those, one of the things I want to do one day is I want to get take them out and then go to like a frame store and have them framed as like a. a Something like a, a that shows them all off, but not like you know, simple, you know, one, 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 one. I want it kind of like they're spread out on the table, like what Igor does. Oh, yeah, and yes, the background frame is not going to be a black box, I want it to be blue. <laughs> she just wants it to be the velvet room. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Achievement seize the day. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's S E E S on all capital. Seize the day. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Certain terms that have been displayed before in messages, along with the descriptions, can be viewed by opening the menu with Y. Going into the system and selecting dictionary. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know, because it's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ivey. Ah, good Oh, Murphyus! Welcome, welcome, Raiders. My name is Nell. I'm a rogue VTuber. I mostly play retro games. Uh, joining me at the moment is my friend Coffee Ninja Ryu and Luminar Gaming. Luminar bought me this. Uh, I have been jonesing to uh, play Persona 3 Reload because I've I've played the originals to death. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you were playing some Valhalla? Hell uh -oh. yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, I have, no. I have to oh, ask no. Murphyus. Murphyus, who's your favorite? Set it for perfect draw? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And yes, Lumi, you were saying? I was going to say. I gotta, I gotta steal you again for uh, when I do uh, Valhalla again. Yeah, I need to check my schedule later. Yeah, same with uh, you, Rio. And if Violet's still in the chat, she's invited too. I need to, I need to, I need to get my friends started on playing Valhalla. I'm, wa I'm just waiting for my friend Coda like recover her voice from being sick. Yeah. yeah so oh, just let me all know what. Uh, I what will let you know as soon as I have the schedule. Murf does yeah. a lot of narrative games and totally derailed gushing over Perfect Draw for like 20 minutes. You know, fair? <laughs> I mean, it's not I... like I don't totally have a show dedicated every two weeks to, to the game. <laughs> PLUG! <laughs> Dorothy? No, my... but Vir Virgilio's growing on you? Very nice. I, I... More, love, more love for Virgilio. I'm very much Why? an Alma fan. Uh, yeah, Kira Miki for me, uh, yeah, because... <laughs> yeah. After she wall-slammed uh, you last time? I, I still have that image, that commission done. Let's go! Do you want to see Ryu? <laughs> yes. Y yes, I do. Get it? Dorothy is right. also great. Absolutely um, fantastic. I'm oh my the, lord, this guy. I'm putting the voice chat. Uh, what I put it? Hi, how have you been? Bruh! Bruh, you're gonna get me in trouble. You're a small boy in my room. Why are you here? Why are you- why- stop just verbally pointing it out, Nell. You're making it weirder. Ah, uh, how'd you get in here? I'm always by your side. That's super Soon. creepy. The end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. I don't care. Really? Well, if you say so, to be honest, I don't have much to tell you anyway. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. Fog is coming, the fog is coming, the fog is coming. <laughs> Mitsuru, it's happening. <laughs> Mitsuru, help! This is, this, I'm seeing the illusions again. I need you to come in and smother me with your chest. Just her chest? I mean, one step at a time. And, uh, Ryu, it's in, I put in the, uh, I know, I saw. It's great. I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm the remake is really good. It really is. Looks like I slept till night time. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. It's been a whole day. I lost my entire weekend. My entire day off I spent in bed. Oh, Murphy, you need to play this at some point. This about? Especially if you like narrative games. Oh, this game will destroy you. Also, can we just ap appreciate Yukari's outfit here? I am looking disrespectfully. I know you are. Same. No, in all seriousness, though, it is a really nice outfit. I actually really enjoy it. She, she looking cute as fuck! Now show, now show me my if boy, Akihiko. If I recall, didn't it, wasn't this outfit added in uh, P3P? Mm, like the, uh, the I believe so, yes. Yeah. I do believe I so. Don't, I don't think so. Thanks for coming. There's 
someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Oh, he's here. Just a sec. Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> yeah, pretty much abrupt. <laughs> He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. The fact that Junpei was out at midnight shows... There's problems. Yeah. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. You know, fair. <laughs> that is fair. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. You guys know that? Really? No, I had no idea. What? Have you not talked to anyone about it? Well, you should know, since you're a Persona user and all. But man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased. I just, I, I can't stop looking at, at Akihiko's pants. What the hell is with the lines on the front? Just let it be and enjoy the lovely scarf. Just, just be, just, just be drawn by the scarf, Nell. Why do pants look like they're supposed to be robot segments? Look at the scarf and nothing else. Just remember, this is Akihiko. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we can start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> Saw that one coming from a mile away. <laughs> Sounds a bit salty. Oh, the delivery on that live is Mwah, chef's kiss. Say it again. Say it again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> Perfect. Tartar sauce? Perfect. What? Tartar sauce? What? Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> you need that as a sound alert now. Remix. Tart, tart, tartar sauce, tartar sauce, what? Tartar sauce, tartar sauce, what? Tartar sauce, tartar sauce, tartar sauce, what? Oh, you mean tartarus. Tartar sauce. Oh. Tartar sauce. Oh. Tartar sauce. Oh. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Oh. Tartar sauce. What? Oh my god, now. We are creating memes, damn it. <laughs> it's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour. Or so we think. Tartar sauce. What? The key. Huh. The key. Huh. Tartar sauce. What? Oh. You mean Tartarus. The key. Tartar sauce. What? The key. Tartar sauce. The key. Tartar sauce. What? The key. Tartar sauce. The key. Tartar sauce. What? The key. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> She's having way too much fun with this, and so am I.
But my weekend. The weekend. <laughs> yeah, tartar oh. sauce remix. Tar, tar, tartar sauce, tartar sauce. What? Yo, are you ready to kick some ass? I'm ready to take some tartar ass. I mean tartar, tartar sauce. sauce. Tartar sauce. What? <laughs> I'm so glad I was in. I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm's pretty cozy. But the best part is that we're the only ones who can fight these shad uh, enemies. I didn't know Jinpei knows how to break it down. Drop the base. Right. Drop the tartar sauce. What? Well, duh. <laughs> Who wouldn't be stoked about fighting for justice? I don't care. Count one. <laughs> Though, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. But I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that they'll explain everything. I really hope that they add the fancy route just because I like the dichotomy difference in how they pers how the personalities are. Ooh, I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. Like, if you look at the answers between Male C and Fem C, Male C's answers are a lot more solemn and apathetic, whereas Fem C is much more bubbly and outgoing. Oh, yeah. <coughs> can I have a minute? You have Girl, all you can have my entire lifetime. Nell, you have Violet. Yes, and... Violet can cosplay as Mitsuru. Exactly! I'm just saying. Why don't I just take Violet, take Mitsuru, and then uh, Exceed summon them? <laughs> so basically, you're trying to Exceed summon I'm uh, build, Becky. I'm gonna build the overlay network. <laughs> just, summon, just summon Becky. Come to the Damn, Nell. Floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Nell's on her hair making arc again. Damn. Don't waste any time. I mean, I did with Pokemon. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan! Do I sense some hostility? Not really. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm. Yukari's a lot softer. Do you notice that? Yeah. Compared to the previous version? Yes. Very much so. She she's a lot more soft and a lot friendlier. It's not that I don't like her, it's just I don't know. Oh, well, plus don't forget early two thousands the voice acting was a lot different back then. Look, okay. I understand the that, finally over. but a lot of the main cast nailed their roles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Es especially when you consider that it was Michelle Ruff who was originally Yukari, and I am i don't know. I feel like Michelle had been in the VA industry that long enough to, like, honestly, like, get it. I don't know, maybe it's just a difference in, like, voice, voice direction? Maybe. I don't know, she just seems a little bit softer, but that's not a bad thing. Oh no. Let, let's just see where it takes us. Let's hurry back. I I wanna buy a soda. No soda yet. I want a soda! No soda yet. Eat your vegetables first, Nell. I want a hee ho cola. I can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. It's been happening a lot lately though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Oh, back to how much of this is based off of IRL stuff. Oof. Crap. Everyone else is there already. Yeah. You better hurry. That's what made it so good, though. I know. The lost generation. Oh, man. I'm getting kind of hungry. Bro, we have no time. It's small. Chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. 
Maybe next time. Here. Wait, hold on. Everyone's here. Ba 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 ba. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. Ah, what? For a long time, Kirijokun and Sanada Kun were the only Persona users we had, but that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Tartar sauce, what? Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that tartar thing again? <laughs> it's Tartarus. Excuse me. You what? seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean, it's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? My only question... Yes? If stuff doesn't work, like electronics for the most part don't work in the dark hour, how are they keeping track of how long they, they are in, in that tower? Because they only have an hour. That's a good question. Because we all know what happens if you are still in there when everything goes back to normal. You basically yep. skip the entire day. Yep. Time dilation. Seize is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I don't really get it. A mechanical well, watch. If we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour. So who's the? We don't know for certain. So question, chat. Who is the more lovable, um, uh, airheaded type kind of idiot? Junpei, Yosuke, or Ryuji? Difficult question, I know. Junpei is an idiot, but he's a lovable idiot. Mm -hmm. He tries hard, and he has some major flaws, but he does work and overcome them. Uh, Yusuke is insecure, and he's always deferring to you. And I feel like even when you go through his social link, he still defers everything to you and he doesn't actually take a stance on anything. He's there to essentially be your mouthpiece because you, the player, are a, uh, essentially a silent protagonist. Makes sense. Ryuji, my only problem with Ryuji, because Ryuji is a fantastic character in my opinion. My only problem with Ryuji is he doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. It, it is a noticeable character flaw, but it it is also one that, even by his own admission, like he has. Well, yeah. That, but that's my only problem with him, is he doesn't know when to shut the fuck up, but he knows that that's a problem. So like, basically... I, I made the joke when I was playing through P5 of, every time Ryuji opens his mouth, he's shouting out in, 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 as loud as he can, Hey, we're the Phantom Thieves! Take it. T take a shot of alcohol every single time Ryuji almost spills the beans. My name is Ryuji Sakamoto, and I'm a phantom thief. Do you want to hear about our phantom thief meeting? Ryuji, do you know how drunk everyone would be? Yes, it would be funny. Sorry. It's okay. I'm from the Midwest. I can hold my alcohol. But investigating the mysteries of that town. <laughs> what happened to caught sooner, right? Bottom line is, we need more information. 
Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. If I was to rank them, I would say Ryuji, Junpei, uh, Yusuke. Fair. That is also my ranking. I would not say I dislike Yusuke. I just feel that Yusuke is... They made Yusuke to essentially be the protag without making Yusuke the protag. Fair enough. He is essentially the... He's the exposition dump that you're supposed to be. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. Like, I would say Yusuke is a 7 out of 10. And that I put there as specifically because... 7 out of 10 is still well above average. He's still a good character. Hi. I just like the other two more. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. Yeah, Kuski, and you know all about that, right? That's right. That's a hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail. Does anyone else hear someone's ego inflating? I mean... Let, let, let him have his moment. He ha he's... He's compensating for something. And I don't mean this in a bad way. Let, let, let the boy have his moment. Spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. They're nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. I love the fact that he becomes a, uh, becomes a baseball player. What about you, Mr. Chairman? It suits him. Stay here. Not much point anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? I I want someone else to keep an eye out for me because I'm not seeing it, but it might just be weird angles. I'm looking to see if Ikutsuki has a ring on. Okay. This is dumb, but please just humor me, okay? Next time he's on screen, I'll, I'll make I'll make a note. Just All right. wait and see. It's almost midnight. All right, let's see. Let's see them recreate this. I'm glad they're doing this in animation. God, it's still cool. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. All right. Rufus says he doesn't see a ring on the finger. Okay, so that that, that uh, negates that theory. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yori, no. Um, Ikutsuki. Ikutsuki. Not Yori. Ikutsuki. 
You're the chairman. The one making the bad puns. This puns are pretty good. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? Oh, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical, reasonable explanation for that. There's a logical, reasonable explanation for that, right? It's true, no. You don't know either? Oh, no, she very clearly knows. No. No, she knows. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Or she has a theory. <gasps> a dark hour theory. No, no, go to your corner. Take a peek. This will be but our first map hat's not there anymore. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the dark hour. It's gotta be the shadow of school, the manifestation of education. Bro. Kihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Okay, Akihiko's growing on me. Yeah. yeah, I think it was just a little too deep at the start. Now he's kind of mellowing into the right voice. It's just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? Captain Okay, 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 okay Ryuji, let's calm down. <laughs> I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! You're in charge. like a captain calm down he has experience fighting already wait seriously that's true too but the main reason is far more simple junpei and you too takeba can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can yeah of course i can me too these are shadows we're talking about Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? <laughs> That's the spirit. Wait, I need to go to the corner and drool for a moment. <laughs> What's the matter? All right, back to privately thinking about me too. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. I don't know about you, Igor, but I know the story of this game. I know the answers. That is why. But do you really? Aware of something Maybe? before you go any further, you must understand the nature of your power. About that door. The door you just passed through is the entrance to this realm. Of course. No one but you can see it. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, 
are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, May you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. You are just so good. It's wonderful. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. I was thinking about Mitsuru's ass. Thinking about Mitsuru's ass make you makes you look like a zombie. Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? Nineties called. They want their they want their lingo back. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. You know, you know, it'd be a fun and interesting challenge run. Leader. What would that? You only get one actual real life hour to explore Tartarus at a time. That would be pretty good. I would say new game plus allowed, just so that way you don't have to worry about social links. Makes sense. Makes sense. Or not social awesome. links, uh, um, stats, social stats. So that way you could devote all the spare time just doing the social links. But I, I think that would be a fun, interesting challenge run where you legitimately only get one hour to explore Tartarus at a time. I'd be down for that. And at the end of the hour, you immediately have to leave? No, you have to clear and get out within that hour. If you don't, like if, you, like if you're fighting a boss and the hour runs up, you have to restart. Ooh, interesting. Like, restart the day. That is an interesting challenge run. I'd be down for that. So you, you need to plan it, plan accordingly. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone propose that one before. It really would be a good challenge to do. Hmm. And so up, up, up the stairs we go. She's been going for our three hours now. All right. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I'm holding. Hydrate. Stretch. Posture. Health check. Hello, lower back muscle. How are we doing this evening? I think we're going to do the first floor exploration that's part of the tutorial, and then I might wrap up stream at that point. That sounds like a good. That sounds like a good wrap up point. Uh, you're kind of you're kind of having a lot of fun with this, aren't you? Oh hell yeah! I'm going to yeah. go longer tomorrow because I have the day off after. Oh, that lighting! Oh, look at that the dynamic lighting. This is like the first time we're experiencing Tartarus like this, and I love it. Oh, this this is like falling in love all over again. Wait, can we just listen to the music for a second? Yes. That's the shit daddy loves.
Can you all hear me? Look, it's the ghost of my next wife. Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. I would say that the one hour challenge would start on your second trip to Tartarus, because the first one here is essentially pre-scripted. Oh, yeah. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much <coughs> as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Hey now, you want to mm -hmm. punch it? Mm hmm? Swing, swing the weapon? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think it's my controller, not Final Fantasy, that's having that problem. Because I'm holding up and sometimes I'm walking and, stu and stopping. Oh. So I might have, as much as I love this mecha controller, I might have to go and spend, like, the actual money to buy a proper data controller. Keep it in the, bu keep it in the button to swing. Oh, double. Well, that's neat that you, that they've got these things now. To show the Tartarus is actually a jumbled a labyrinth. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. All right. Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. And some just make no goddamn sense. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Come on, Yuri. God, those cut ins are good. Were you please tell me you saw it this time? Oh, you're damn right I did. Okay. <laughs> okay, this new level up screen looks absolutely sick. I kind of want this for a scene transition. Oh, right. hell yes. Murphy is well. Take care. Rest well. I want something rest like well. that for a screen transition oh, now. Yeah. How'd you like my persona ability? Or my BRB screen. Like, um, have it like, uh, like a menu like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Well done, Eeyore. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. All right. Next, 
Let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! You got this, Shikari Tan. God, that looks so good. That's it, Takaba. You give it a try as well. Our direction for this game is not slacking. Okay, I want, I want a persona cut in. I want my own persona cut in. I'm surprised you don't have one. Join the club now. Join the club. I never seeing an artist that does them online. Maybe when I have money. Damn it. Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Directly called out. Yeah. looking thing yes boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus sometimes they contain useful items for battle seek them out as often as you can oh sweet so they're basically like treasure chests hell yeah let's bust it open and see what's inside and then you find the mimic oh that would be something Oh. oh, yeah. Look at that, that's on the side of the box for you. Person's blind. What this? Look at the side of the box. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see it? It's up to you to decide how to use it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wasn't ready for that. Alright. So we found a life stone. Revival bead. Don't you mean revival bread? How many people did that? Shadow detected. Looks when I had my no when I had my friend Hannah play uh, Persona Five for the first time, she read it as bread. I did too when I first played three. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. Revival bread. I read as when I first saw it. I read as bed. Revival bed. Hey yo. Hey, 
Hold on. Do a jam for a minute. Loves juice we don't deserve you. <laughs> Holy shit! First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of tactical data such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. It's time to see the all out attack. An all out attack. You guys are gonna love it. It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. You're gonna run in and beat the shit out of them. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa, that sounds so badass. Let's give it a try right now. You guys are gonna love it. I, I remember that if you do this in P3P and purposely not do the uh, the all out attack, they get kind of annoyed. She gets kind of annoyed at you. Shuffle time! That was actually pretty boss, not gonna lie. Shuffle time, shuffle time, everyone loves shuffle time. Shuffle around, shuffle around, shuffle cards around and round and round. Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, experience. Battle support effects. Isn't that just like HP recovery? Or they expanded that? I do not remember. So far from what I've played, it's mostly been the HP, but I haven't gotten that far. I'm still in the first month. Alright, probably the higher floors might be some low SP recovery then. Probably. Skill cards, yeah, that's... Skill cards? Yeah. I thought those were weapons. Oh. They Interesting. The skill cards. And money, that's the same. Experience and money... Battle support, which is typically hit points. Skill cards. Skill cards is definitely definitely a change. Done and dusted. Why is Bash so far down? Good no question. Idea. How'd you like our all-out combo attack, you filthy shadows? When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. I have to ask, if, uh, Lumi, if you, since you, I'm assuming you played this or watched a bit. If you I, do I, an all-out attack and you don't finish them off, does it show the characters getting knocked out of the cloud still? Oh, uh, I don't know. I. I haven't gotten that far yet. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard a lot to of the, uh, first time. A lot of the all outs I've done is like complete wipe out of the enemy. Flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. Another shadow up ahead. 
Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. Please. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. HP, XP, or you know what, I'm gonna take the money. Give me cash. We we need to get soda. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. All right. My first time on my teleporter. Different than the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. What's that you got there? I wonder. Oh, that's a good snuffles. Nice. So the thing is, with those chests, you have to have the twilight fragments to open them. And thankfully, you can find them laying around literally everywhere, out, inside and outside of Tartarus. So if you look round enough, you'll find a lot of them. That's the teleporter out. Newt Newt inside Tartarus, the first up. Hey, I found some stairs. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to explore more. We can. Tutorial, Mel. Tutorial fight. Tutorial fight. And also, we have a raid. Uh, Queen Fairy, hello. Welcome, welcome. That was a cute raid. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to keep going for a little bit longer than now. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, raiders. My name is Nell. I'm a rogue VTuber. I mostly play retro games. Right now, I am playing through Persona 3 Reload. Uh, thanks to Lumi here. He got me the game. Did you forget you the ad again? I keep misspelling. Fair enough. <laughs> now use it to return to the entrance. But yeah, like I mostly play retro games and RPGs and stuff. So if that's your cup of tea, feel free to sit down, relax. Uh, oh, you were playing some Lethal Company. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I was pl I played that with Violet a lot. And I me. Don't too. forget me. It's true. But I would say that I play with you, but that's only when you don't get lost. I did better last time. Actually, that's also better. Welcome back. We also found out that apparently you can play crowd control with it. That's gonna be so crazy. Mm, no problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn! Why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued I'm more easily. You to the Shendo realm. No. no! Much better. <laughs> Enjoy your banishment. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> you'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm having a fantastic stream, and Blue, thank you very much for suggesting me. I hope you, I hope you uh, enjoy your stay, Queen. Uh, but if you have like after stream self care, please take care of yourself. Like if you need a drink, if you need to stretch, if you need to relax, or you need to rest, do it. Don't worry about me. But thank you very Ooh. much for trusting your community to me. I, I'll do my best to take care of them. We have snacks. Yes, and we also have sodas. Lots of cola. And lots of shenanigans. Rank up! Time for naps. <sighs> All right. Dude, that's French. Smooch, 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 smooch. Oh no, down. Please tell what? me somebody, somebody got that reference. <laughs> damn, damn it, no. I did. She did. She just speak French to us again. Damn it. Yes. She is the queen, so. Morticia, that's French. Yo. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Kenji. Good morning. Looking for someone with a little more experience? I want to hit this man so bad. I have
grab a catapult. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. She's 3D! No, that's her finishing move that she does with Akihiko, is they put people through tables. No. <laughs> so she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That and allow it to be crushed under my healed boot. No, that's my Our job. Ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? That delivery was perfect. Yes, I know exactly what she said. She said, Nell, come over here and let me step on you. I thought you were her like chair. High schooler would say. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Come over here, Nell, so I can step on you. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that. Okay, time for class. All right, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over this last class. Got a great poem we could discuss and said. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen to this. Isolated cloud suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. No, I must stay awake. What even? Hey, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself napping while I pour my heart into this reading. You're getting another essay on top of a regular assignment today. I expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. Damn. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. So, wait, hold on. The old woman romanizer was sleeping through class? Yeah. Well done, jackass. And now he's got to get her cake, too. I mean, not cheap out and get the store-bought stuff. Yo! Want to stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? It's Polonia, not Paulonia. Might want to yep. stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. And there's a pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You know, that's fair. You seem really into this. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Look, it's the Nana Senpai! Wait for us! Have you noticed how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem manga. I wonder where they're going. I mean, to be fair, Akiko's absolutely ripped. 
I mean, you can great, you can great, you you can grind meat on those abs. Two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? J the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? Damn it! Girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache, and all the girls. Oh, Akihiko Senpai. <laughs> oh. If only, if only I had my brass knucks, I would bleep, I would beat them to a bloody pulp. And meanwhile, I'm over here like, bruh, he ain't nothing special. Hey, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He is at least a six. He's at least a six, but he's not that much of a ten that they're doing this. To be fair, they're dumb high school girls. Junpei, Junpei, yeah. Junpei, I don't need to know their names, because I know Mitsuru, I know Yukari, that's all I need right now. But what about later on? I mean, you know right my now. I mean, you know my name at least, right? Who are you? You literally said my name not even 10 seconds ago. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to hog the curry. There's one mystery that only gets off. Here's, here's one here. It's, you know, like the sculpture in the art room that moves by itself sounded cooler in my mind. Hey. I want soda! No soda. We'll get soda at the mall. Plus we plus there there is there is a vending machine in our dorm room. Trust me, chat, this stream the only way the stream is ending is if Nell gets soda. Soda, 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 soda. Blue, Nell Blue's having you hydrate. And overall, and over. Now you may continue with your chant. Doctor Salt. Munsk. And one apple. Softer gift from coveted by old school gamers. <laughs> it speaks to you, Nell. So that the like slogan the... kissed my full moon. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Salty soda, popular but an acquired taste. I mean, fair. I love it. Now look at the one next to it. Should be the same machine. Yeah, it's the same machine. A lot of them are going to be different. They'll be different if it's a different icon on the map. Yep. Hold on. The cafe I can go to? Interesting. We can get a plant coop. Mm -hmm. 
Saturday the sale day at ah 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 he ah he ah hoge an eroge I'm just wait I'm just waiting for the day that we see our boy Tanaka. I got to get my academics up, sir. for vending machines. Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and here. This is from Ikutsuki san. 50 bucks. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa san has connections. He can secure equipment for us, but these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. Wait, isn't Kurosawa-san the detective that helps him out in Persona 4 Arena, or am I just imagining yes. things? Okay, alright. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary Wait. police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. Is that Liam O'Brien? Right. Nothing more. Sounds like it. If you need something, we can talk in the back. All right. I'm looking it up. This is new. It Normally, is. It is Liam. Oh, this is new. Normally, we just deal. We dealt with him at the counter. This is great. Also, look. There's a whale mascot for the police department. Nice. Now then, I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you be able to find what you need. What'd you bring? Wanna sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. Uh -huh. Where in the wor where in the world? Check it out. I miss I miss Daddy Ey. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I love Kurosawa, but I miss Daddy EY. Everything look good here? Alright then. Jinping needs the attack. It's all yours. Junpei needs the sword of a bastard. How many? Sure, not sure. That's a deal. Uh -huh. Buy the practice bell. Well done here. What'll it be? Got Make some new things in stock. Check it out if you got the time. It's unbelievable that this man was the original voice for Akihiko. <laughs> What'll it be? 
What are you looking for? Uh huh. As long as you need. What will it be? As long as you need. Everything look good here? Alright then. Yep. I don't have enough I... for this short bow at the moment, but I think I'll be okay. Yep, I had, I had to double check myself and I was right. Liam O'Brien was the original voice for Akihiko Sonata. Come back soon. And now he's Kurosawa. I believe the police station summoned weapons. What's more? They only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, we gotta save in the world. Bruh. Oh crap, it's this late already? I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shoguns. I gotta go. Wow, well, about that. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. Alright, see you back at the dorm. Sign today, you're free to use your after school hours however you wish. You're gonna go find the soda, aren't you? There's this mysterious soda machine in, inside the velvet room. Have I know you've heard of one up, dear tr dear Joker, but have you heard of seven up? <gasps> Welcome to the velvet room. Welcome to the suede chamber. That's not what it's called. Create new personas by merging multiple persona cards together. They can be reborn into a new form. I'm not merging until you give me the compendium. One could call it a fusion of personas. There is much hidden potential within your persona abilities. We've never had a guest show this much promise in the past. Indeed. And by establishing social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas as well. Lumi, question for you. Yes? Can I still double summon? Um... That was an ability that you used to be able to do, where we could summon two personas at the same time. This shall prove to be most interesting. I'm not sure. I'm like I said. I'm to still in the end, first month. As you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. Like they had special animations if they were certain ones. Like in this example, if you had Jack Frost and Pyro Jack, they would do stand-up comedy. I'll if I'll have to check. Huh. More about fusing personas in greater detail. That's a good thing I'm still gonna play it later anyway. I may give you some hints. I will assist you to the best of my ability. Persona Compendium, let's go! Yeah, I, was go I was gonna say. Yeah, thankfully they get they give us a compendium right away. How may I assist you? So, yeah, make sure to register. Registering personas is overriding acceptable. All registered. I mean, if I could have, I would have gotten you the DLC personas, but it's like Please this is hard. This is this is good enough. I, too, have a purpose to serve. 
Drab fusion. Interesting. Scrying spread, advanced spread, normal spread. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. This would be a wise choice. Rakunda. I'm gonna hold off. Just because Orpheus is about to get some skills. It is a special persona you desire, is it not? Ah, oh, Pale Rider! <laughs> Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. All right. If I come back in and talk in again, come in again and talk again, can I start triggering Elizabeth's quests? No. Not yet. Okay. Trust me, I tried. But do you want to get to courage, or do you want to your uh, no, don't smart? Worry. I want to work on my uh, my academics. Fair enough. Courage. I don't want agility. Face too crowded at the moment. Hello, Sparkle. Shiny. Yeah, you're gonna need as many of those as you can. Because some of them take up to one, two, or even three fragments. Kind of have to go and make sure to look everywhere before ending the day. I definitely encourage you to go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower, Charm. One thing you should probably do now, just in case. Uh -huh. Save. <laughs> in case you end up hitting the wrong choice. Who are you, Rudy Poo Candy Ass? <laughs> <laughs> Back into school we go. I don't trust a lot in this post-war world, but if there's one exception, it's my Yaki Soba Pan. Oh, Those were here when I was having computer problems will remember that quote. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh dear. I told you that was going to be a good game. <laughs> Bitter mugwort, poison carrot, 
Pan Bane, Jujube, Rabbit's Foot, etc. etc. Why did they throw a Jujube in there? I mean, why not? No yeah, fair. All right. Drink, 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 drink. Mixing drinks and changing lives. Okay then. Saturn is calling. <laughs> ring ring hello. Ring ring hello. It's me, Sailor Saturn. Yes, please. Controller, please. Yeah. The only way I can guarantee running straight forward is if I'm slightly angled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really starting to show how your control is acting up. Yeah, so I think it's just, I'm gonna need to get a new one. I mm -hmm. love this thing. It is beautiful, but it is clearly, I, I did only spend like 40 bucks on it. How long have you had it? Oh, half a year. Wow, just half a year? I think so. Huh. I think I got it during the summer. <laughs> Alright, friends. I'm about to, like, pass out, so I'm gonna call it a night. Um, right. I will... Rest well. I am uh... probably going to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do to wrap up the day here and then call it myself, so... All right. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too much farther ahead. And you are welcome to join me tomorrow as well, if you'd like. Uh, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be uh, with uh, friends, but I'll have uh, your stream playing in the uh, background. So I'll, I'll stop in to say hi. They reflected right. everybody. Holy yeah. cow. Even the walking people. Yeah. I mean, if you need Nelly, if you need Nelly, you can always do a... A save here and wrap it up. No, nah, because I want to. I don't want to forget about looking for Twilight fragments. That's fair. All right, True. guys, have a good rest of your night. Nell, enjoy the game. Lumi, thank. Will. We're gifting the game to Nell. Yes, thank yeah. you again so much, Lumi. All right, have a good night, friends. Night. Later. Night. -night. Yeah, I, I kind of forget. I haven't seen how much it was on the uh, Canadian set. It's like, you know what? and shoot the system and go through the uh, base. Well, let's check out the shrine because we haven't gone here yet. played so far. How are you enjoying the reload? It's beautiful. Okay, so I can make copies of the skill card by playing here. Boxes and they're going repairs. Right. My key 
can't make a super donation, so I, I don't want to do anything on that yet. You, you don't need a, a lot of money. Yeah, you need a good chunk of change in order to actually get anything worthwhile out of that academics. Oh, yeah. More fragments. Well, sounds like your teacher has apathy syndrome. Sleepy time. It's a good idea for them to put in those uh, Twilight Fragments and all. Really good if they want to have to explore everything. I'll pass on the weird takoyaki for the moment. Nas T and Bauer Bar. Can't eat there yet. That place is too crowded. Thing. Bookstore is closed until the 25th. Oh, I don't have a thousand yen to get the burger. And if I go back to the dorm, I immediately... Oh, it's only if I go in the dorm. Yeah. That's the fun thing that they changed about that. It just doesn't drive you in anymore. outside. Alright. Guess we'll go to the mall and we'll uh, play some arcade. Actually, can I use the library? Hold on. With a shot. Computer room. Economics, Homac, Science, Laboratory, Laboratory, Art, Music, Music Prep. Oh god, that stutter is annoying. So you here might help me with that academics. There you go. We're gonna, we're gonna study.
One step closer. One step closer to Mitsuru, and I'm about to date. Speaking of. Welcome back. Every time I'd like to speak with you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akiko is still on the mend. So for now, I'd like you to lead the team in combat. Let's see. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So, whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, let me know, and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you'll need to take care of, you have permission to go out at- I can go out at night already? Yeah. That's like a month early. Yeah. They made a lot of big changes. Junpei, you're not wrong, but you're also eating super noodle. There's a kitchen right here, man. his right hand. Come on. Not on his left hand. So my theory is debunked. Okay. That's worth a shot. But you had the right idea. buying all the soda. Did you realize that there's a reason I'm buying all of this, right? I forget. One of Elizabeth's um, quests is to have all one of every soda. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so I need Aquafina from this machine. Okay, no. Oh, Twilight Fragment. Hello. If I go to my room, is it going to end the day? Or can I check the TV? Uh, I, I think just like with Persona 5, it doesn't end until you actually go to the bed. So you can go to your room, just as long as you don't go to the bed, you're fine. broke in the time it took me to buy soda. <laughs> Mythico Mix, like, hello, welcome. In the time it took me to be able to finally buy soda, my fridge broke. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I'm mad. Hello there, Mythical Mix. Fridge is full. It's full of Junpei's ramen. Mix is fine? Okay, Mix. Welcome, welcome. Alright, uh, let's, let, let's see what we can get for, uh, for thoughts. 
The Dream Sport Timer is properly starting today. Like, you should probably yes. save. I already did. Yeah. What do you mean, save in Tartarus? I mean, like, As we yeah, I've been going Tartarus, for this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you to take charge during the operation. I mean. You haven't gone for almost a good five hours now. Uh, don't worry, I'm I'm planning on saving again in just a sec. Okay. Does anybody ever use anything other than direct commands anymore in this? Probably probably not. Alright. All right, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. Follow because my model looks so good, and because you're you're a Persona fanboy. Aw, thank you. All yeah. right, so we're gonna have no background audio here for a moment, because now I got it. I'm gonna see who we're gonna raid. Oh, uh, looks like Starcross is streaming. How long have they been going? Okay, three hours and change. So that's not, that's uh, not too bad. All right. So we're gonna raid Starcrossed. Uh the raid message is gonna be Persona raid. So once again, thank you everybody for coming by, and Lumi, thank you once again for the fantastic gift. I really appreciate it. Anything for a friend. <laughs> all right. Love you all. I will see you guys all uh, next. No, no, stop. Stop. Say stop more. It. Say more. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. I plan on playing some more of this. Oh, my God. This is I'm jonesing. I'm jonesing for more Persona 3 now. <laughs> all right. I will see you all on my next stream. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, no, oh. we got raided right at the last second. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Rio coin, welcome, welcome. I'm literally just raiding out Flash Sail Raid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for raiding. We're, we're, we're literally just heading out. Um, please join us for the multi-raid then, I guess. We're heading over to Starcross. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Later. Laters, love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>